Settle myself down. Yeah. Take, it down. take a deep breath. And I'm going to show you what we have already done for this table. Because the glass top was missing, we, um, we, I say we, JR built a plywood top, a fabulous. really exterior grade plywood top with a night, or actually cabinet grade is what it is. And he made that so that it would fit right over the top of this. We've done this lots of times with these kinds of tables. It really does make a nice option. Um, and, and it's perfect for outdoors as long as we seal it completely. So I have base coated this entire thing white. I actually did this, I think, two years ago. And it's been sitting here. Who's in the tiny mirror? Oh! <laughs> Is it me? <gasps> I love it! It's awesome! I'm out of here! Busted! Oh my gosh! Am I going to need to cover this? I cannot. Oh, I what? am shook to the core. Shook to the core. That is so funny. Okay, well, so I'm going to have to put a sheet it over it, right? Time. I'll just have to put a sheet over it or an apron. I'm just going to because... put a sheet over myself and cut holes <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm okay over here. Anyway. Yeah, but if you need to switch the camera angle, then we got oh, a problem. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> then we got a real problem. Oh, that is funny. Oh. <laughs> Jane said we shouldn't have said anything. I know, right? Like who who Don't spilled worry the beans? About what you missed, Darlene, nothing important has happened at all. <laughs> Do not rewind. Do not rewind. Okay, so anyway, it's a way for us to um, update these tables, even if we get one without a glass top. We built this out of cabinet grade plywood once again. I have base coated the entire thing with uh, white paint. No doubt, this was before I even had Debbie's DIY, so this is like fusion casement, I'm sure. So, I mean, I love you too, but you can love me without looking at me. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, it's awful. Oh my goodness. Oh, poor Megan. <laughs> I wanted, I do want to know this. Could you, if someone said that a crime was committed, could you make a sketch? Could you direct a sketch artist to draw what I look like based on what, what you just saw? <laughs> <laughs> I always, sometimes I check myself on that. I'm like gonna... when I pass by somebody, like, oh my gosh, if they said, did you see anything? And I'm like, no, I would just be like, it was Sorry, a lump guys. on a bicycle, <laughs> a blurry lump. <laughs> Do we have this um, mic cord in there? It the, wasn't in the, now well, it's in the picture. Well, it was just so like close to my. <laughs> oh, well. Good, Jane, that means you saw just enough. Are we good now? We had this, I used this um, little thing before. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get the cord up and out of the way. <laughs> All right, I think we got I it. I think it. we got it. Okay. So here's the next thing. Um, we, is the mic actually in the, no? Oh, good, okay. <laughs> I would let you know. I had actually kind of started this project before. Does this um, fabric look familiar to you? That's what we used on the anthropology upcycle and I had a little bit left over and years ago I recovered the seats to the chairs that go with this. Yay, Linda's here. She said she finally caught a slot. Hey, Linda. So I had these four back there. Hello. And it's like, I don't want to redo these because I really love this print. It's really fun and pretty and vibrant and they just need to be dusted off a bit. So then here comes, um, here comes a decoupage Queen paper. <laughs> what? Just like you don't actually know what's coming. <laughs> I do know. This is called Accents 3. <laughs> Somebody did comment a few videos ago that I seem I seem to be missing a lot of things and then I'm very unorganized and like, oh uh, yeah. She's doing her best. <laughs> okay. 
takes a villain. We'd be like, oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely Thanks right. Thanks for pointing it out. So here it is. I'm using two of these. Look at how beautiful this is. Accents three. Accents three. And what I love about this is when I kind of looked at it, I'm like, hey, if these were chairs down here, they kind of sort of go in a boho, funky kind of way, right? Do you think? What do you think, guys? Yes, I think. You think? Okay. Well, if we've got Megan's approval, then we've got her approval. <laughs> so they're going to be good. They're going to be good. Then we've got her approval. We do. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be decoupaging these in the center of this table. So I want to make a nice big oval. I just think these are beautiful. I really do. Won't that be pretty? Um, these are not semicircles. I had pulled these for another project, hoping that they were semicircles, but they're not quite. They're they're a little elongated, um, so they don't make like a complete circle. Anyway, so what I'm going to do because I don't need this pink border. All I want is the design. We don't have that paper smaller, no. No. I don't even think it exists smaller. I don't think, no, it doesn't because of, yeah, it doesn't. That particular design. I mean, the decoupage papers do come in all different sizes, but that particular design is big. Yeah. It's one of the, what do they call Large format. Large papers. format. Mm-hmm. Bye, Shannon. Bye, Shannon. Thank you for your service and letting me know that I was in the mirror. That means a lot to me. <laughs> These rice papers are printed in Italy, and um, several times a year we get to do a large format order, which I love. That's when I'm able to order those big bake sheets that like you've seen me use before. And um, that's when I ordered this one. I think we might have a few of these. It has some good companion papers also, which are really, really pretty. They go by the names of Accents 4 and 5. Do they? <laughs> they do. Excellent. Hey, Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. So now we got all that nonsense off of it. Not nonsense. It, we don't need that. But <laughs> but I mean, we could, we could do this in the center. So check this out. I'm going to show you a couple different options. Okay, we could do this. Oh my gosh, we could actually do this. Ooh, do you like that better? I don't know. What do you think, you guys? It looks like two placemats. You guys call the shots. You know what I mean? It does, but is it? No, it's too much space in the middle. It is, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's gotta go here. Would you grab me a table? I want to act like, no, not blue tape, a tape rule, a, ta a tape measure. Oh, I don't, I don't want anybody. A tape rule. I do. I have never, ever once in my life heard you call it a tape I do all the time. No. Yeah, no. I do. Yes, I do. Customers <sighs> ask all the time for a tape measure, and you're not like, pardon me? You mean a tape rule? Yes. Where is it? Top right hand drawer. Just another another reason for my my fans to show how disorganized I am. But what a command of the language that you've got two different words for tape measure. Oops. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Kind of I don't see that a closer. Okay. It is. I put a link up above Tina. It is accents. We. So my table is about 50 inches long. That means, Megan, let's do a little math. Mm -hmm. 50 divided by two 25. is very good. So I'm gonna just make just a tiny little mark here. Do you wanna consult your tape rule to be sure? <laughs> what I would like to do is actually consult my... Let's um, take a little poll here. Who says tape measure and who says tape rule? I 
I will eat my words. If oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. What am I going to do with you? Thank you, Monica. We got a tape measure, one for tape measure. Yeah, well, I didn't have you grab my tape. Jane said there's two different names. One is tape and two is measure. Yes, agree, Jane. Okay, so we've got two. Yep, Jane's on the tape measure side of things. Cheryl, you really, in real life, call it a tape roll. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> she said it's tape. It's a ruler. It's a tape rule. That would be a tape ruler. <laughs> Where's my mark I made? Here. And here. Thank you, Amy. That I was truly looking for a tape roller. Agreed. It has tape on it. Roller? Melissa says never heard of a tape roll. Sorry. I'm roller? thinking of like the the Scotch tape roller that we have, or my packing no, tape roller. No, not roller. roller. Rule. I know rule. that, but it sounds very confusing. Anyway, everyone so far is on my side except Cheryl. Except Cheryl? But Cheryl's I'm, the only Cheryl one. Cheryl still this hasn't one? answered. Oh. Uh, she says she actually calls it a measuring tape, which oh, even though the go. words are reversed, it's still on my See, side. See, a measuring tape, I call the sewing thing a measuring tape. I'm going to tell you right now, I've heard her with my own ears. I've had customer after customer come into the shop and ask me, do you have a tape measure? Do you have a tape measure? And, and I'll get it for And them. I'll say, of course I do. I but no one has ever about. asked me for a tape rule. <laughs> Okay. I would say I would say what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? What? <laughs> and I would say no, we don't. You can use the decoupage <laughs> medium of your choice. I am using Debbie's DIY liquid patina. By the way, I I had a lovely um, visit with my manicurist James yesterday. Laurel says had my nails done. Lorraine says tape rules won't. Seems like a. You I'm not the weird. only one. <laughs> you are. Megan, people could take offense to that. I am sorry. I will issue a statement of apology if someone <laughs> yes. comes sure. forward and says they've been. Has anybody offense. ever had. Okay, uh, here's, a, here's something we need to understand. We have been having a. A discussion all morning long regarding a package that was shipped out. Many of you received packages from us, and we would say that they, for the most part, I would say, Listen, we're not perfect, but we nobody sure do perfect. try to be. But obviously, there was an issue with UPS. This has actually happened to me before, um, where. The package is damaged in transit, and then um, they repackage it. Have, has anybody ever had that happen? Cheryl said we can date your videos by manicure. You can. You're right. This story is not that fun, trust me. It's not. It's but, not. But it's I would just... say, has anybody had that happen? Of course you have. While we're waiting for their answers. Mary's asking, how was your Memorial Day and how was the potato salad? It was incredible. We had a great time, didn't we? Honestly, it was maybe one of our best picnics. It was fun. It was a delight. Everyone, almost everyone was there. Yep. Um, we, there was a dance party. We played Yahtzee with giant dice. We crafted. People got in the water. Yep. I mean, it really was. Quite we had fun. yeah we had a wonderful like crafting. Thing. I'll tell you this. Here's great. what I'll say about the day. My watch told me that I had closed all three rings and I did not do a single workout. So that means <laughs> it was a great day that yes. I closed my somehow closed my exercise ring, my steps. <laughs> it's so true. Because right? I was dancing with my nieces, it was very fun. We had a good time. Yes, we lots really of laughing. The, the potato salad was perfect. Literally perfect. Cheryl, you've got to order. I'm going to have to put stuff in a box for you to get candy. Amy said no, they just delivered the mess of a package. Oh. Sandy says tape measure. Yes, that's a yes. 
Cheryl says, never damaged packages from EJG. I did receive two packages yesterday from EJG. Neither damaged, neither one with candy. We do have candy now. No, you didn't get any candy. <laughs> well, in the envelopes, I can't put candy. Yeah, that's true. And we did just get candy back in. We're back in I would, you know what I would do? I would um, issue a complaint at info at lnjgoods.com. Bell said... Bell says, my post office just drops off the mangled mess. Oh. Jane says, no, I don't think so. I have had a box damaged by UPS, and they wrote damaged when received. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> no, that's interesting. Is right. Well, this person um, received their package. It was a transfer. Yeah, gum is flat, but I'm not the one who buys the candy around here, Cheryl. All right, you so are too much. You want gum? <laughs> gum is considered a treat. All right. Jane loves her German greens. Yeah. Thank you. Belle, was your package in an envelope? Okay. And also, there was a period of time where um, there was no candy, and that is not on me. I have not given the budget for candy, and again, you have complete access to our Amazon account. You can order. If I can go willy nilly into your Amazon account and start ordering candy, you're in big trouble. Every every other day, yeah, right. you'll be like, you used up all that candy already. I'll be like, yep. Yeah. Australian you licorice. <laughs> I'm like, you'd be like, what kind of candy do you guys want? Yeah. What sounds good to you? Yeah. What sounds oh, Bell, really? it just depends. There was a short period of time, almost a month maybe, where there was, it was a sad and really? dark time. It yes. was that long. Yes, it was between the candy gems and the Andes mints. Oh, the dark, those were and dark And now days. we have caramels and Tootsie Rolls, so you will be getting those. Leah's here. Hi, Leah. Anyway, this package was like a transfer and a mold, and it was literally just like... <laughs> like had the label cut off whatever you know envelope or whatever that i shipped it in and it was just like taped together with that on it um and that's how she received it and they just like put it out in the rain so it was completely destroyed which is very sad but what did we do we immediately of course i always replace it but that's not like actually are. Oh, it's been an ongoing, and this person Just, said, oh, she's not gonna, she's Mom, gonna tell know people not to order so. from us. And no, she just said that she would hesitate to recommend ordering for, uh, from us. <laughs> really? Megan's like, do I get, can I send her a picture, Mom, of the 75 packages <laughs> I just, that I packaged up today that are waiting for you people? I just like, take no, it very seriously. Not, I do really try to be that. very careful, like the way that I package things, and I things like that just do happen, and I they understand do. that, and I'm not going to make somebody wait however long it would take them to make a claim with UPS before they get their transfer. Exactly. So it only it happens one out of two hundred times, so I don't mind if they asking it. If that right, cotton candy puffs. Oh, we love the peppermint puffs. Oh, those are so good, aren't they? So I'm just yeah, very gently. Her. I did say the same thing to Mom Cheryl. Well, well, she said chocolate in the mail in the summer. It's not so smart. I know. I know. Okay, that I was wrong. So Wrigley's so. chewing gum. It is gum. I don't think would be great either. But it's. Oh, I will eat all the caramels in the. All right, so let's, um, Amy, that stinks that your male person does that. That's really pretty, you guys. But here's what we want to do. There's a little bit of a transition, obviously, where I cut this out. So I'm going to try to rescue my, uh... Oh, Cheryl, aren't those brushes nice? She got, she just got those from us, the, um, the set from the turquoise oh, iris. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? So you guys, I'm gonna take this one curved part here and I'm going to trim that out nice and close mm -hmm. so that I create a little border, a barrier between the decoupage paper and my painted area, if I can find my Thank scissors. you, Deborah. I do make mistakes, though. 
Of a butterscotch candy like a Werther's or yes, I agree. <laughs> and we have wonderful customers that are very understanding that when they get a triple pack and <laughs> not only understanding but honest. And honest. I accidentally yes. said the way IOD sends us stuff, it's in they're like in inner packs of three everything. And I sent somebody three letterpress stamps and they were so nice and they told us. They didn't have to. Because especially with that typography, it's not bad to have an extra set. That's true. So I really too. appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Wendy, was... yours is on its way. That's nice, Mary. She had a delivery person put her package in a plastic bag when it was raining. You know, and that is like... I love our UPS guy, Cheryl. Like, I... Well, but so do I. There's... It just can happen sometimes. I mean, they're human beings, just like we are. It happens. I'll tell you what is frustrating to me. And this morning, JR and I were like, are you kidding me? We had some Amazon deliveries expected. And we have filled out the delivery instructions. We're closed this day. No one is available this day. You must deliver between these hours. Backdoor delivery, right? All very specific. Talk on it. I had I had the studio lights ordered. Yeah. Order canceled. Too many delivery attempts. It's like because you came on a uh -oh. holiday I was fired and up. you came when we were closed. Do you check the delivery instructions? The best part is that you were like up flailing your arms oh. emphatically and we couldn't see your head at all. <laughs> have like a regular person and they ha they deliver separately it seems right yeah. like they have their own delivery vehicles now so no it's nice UPS. when you have somebody like we know our ups guy we know our fedex we guy yeah we trust them enough that they have a code to our back door and deliver when we're not here but at amazon it's a different like seems like a different person every time it really is yeah but Shout out to Rob, our UPS guy. We have the best. He is the he best. He really is the best. He At first we thought he was grumpy. But you know what? Megan lives That's to turn a grump favorite. around. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is to turn around a grump. <laughs> and we sure did. <laughs> now he's so happy. Now he even drives by my house and honks. Does he yeah. really? Oh or my he gosh. sees me in town, he'll honk oh, away. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Rob has totally, like, I know with um, not this delivery, but the last IOD delivery, it somehow got hung up, and we were we had to do a live that day, remember? Oh, yeah. And, and it's like, oh, my gosh, we have to have those. I have my live all planned, blah, 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 all of that. And, um, and it's like, okay, it, it's in Batavia. But our delivery didn't doesn't come until later in the afternoon. So we contacted Rob. We were able to get him through his cell phone. And I met him. It was like this secret clandestine, okay, I'm going to be on Maple Ridge Road between, um, between Crosby's and um, the tractor supply store. I'll meet you at the parking lot <laughs> of the tractor supply. <laughs> <laughs> That's such great small town. It's stuff. it really is. That really is like the best thing about living in a small town. It One really of is. the many. Yeah. I agree, Tina. I don't have any problem with Amazon. I live in the country and I have a covered front porch, so I don't really have any problems. So they'll just leave it. Yeah. And they send us a picture and show us where they left it. Um, Mary said it drives her crazy when they put a huge package right in front of the door so you can't open it. <laughs> it is silly. <laughs> Tina said, well, I will say they do do that, and I can't get my door open. And Tina also said the table's beautiful. She is making a table Thank here. You. I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I just cut that little pink border strip out, and I'm going to lay it on here. Because I want to create a little outline, I think. I have just enough like liquid patina there to help it to stick in place while I lay it So out. I think someone, I 
think someone asked like if they could do this on a round table and what would you say? Um, you could. It's just, not perfectly it's round. It's really not perfectly round. That is correct. So that's kind of tricky. So here's where it's a little tricky. I'm going to bring this right down to, I don't, I'm sure. Ooh, yeah. What do you like to get from door dashing? She said she had to train the door dashers not to leave drinks in front of the door because they would get knocked over. We don't really have door dash here. Do we all dash here. We only right. have like three restaurants. So I, I wish we did. <laughs> Mom and I could door dash dinner before we go to the concert tonight. But we would really just dash over to Rudy's. <laughs> On our own two feet. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Wendy. She says, I live on a farm 20 miles from town, so we have all our deliveries left at our local ladies' clothing store. Isn't that precious? You know, that I will say though, that was one thing like we used to, um, you know, if we weren't here, we always. We could have our stuff, like, they would drop it right off at the liquor store. Um, and then there were different drivers for a while, but I think we finally got everything kind of... We're in a good groove. We have, we have a good thing going now with our guys. Okay, Indy Annie Jones, welcome. She just caught us live. She just recently started watching Yes, us. you did. I recognize that name, Annie. That's not an inlay, actually. That is... Um, a decoupage clean large format paper called Accents 3. It's actually two of them. Yes, it is. Together. But I do, I love the rice papers because I can kind of fudge and play with these a little bit and I can move them around easier. I'm going to try to bring this up just a little bit. I 